If they ain't got it, I'ma mask up and take it. 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 What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks, and in today's video we have a mask unboxing. Imagine that. I am pretty excited to unbox this one because there is a very special story behind it. I have talked about it in a few videos prior to this one, so I'm sure that a lot of you guys have been expecting this, and it's finally here, so I'm just super stoked. Now before we dig into this, I do want to tell the story on the grandpa mask itself. Clearly it was a mask that I gave to Buckethead at the Buckethead show that I saw a few weeks back, and Buckethead used it on stage, and it was just this really cool, really personal experience, and uh, very very happy about the whole thing and how it went, but when I got home I realized that, wow, now I need to add that grandpa mask to my buckethead collection. But I had the only copy that I had ever seen ever. I got that mask for free in a mask lot from a friend of mine that was getting out of the hobby way back in like 2012 or 2013. So I've had it forever. I've never ever seen another one. And after the show I really really started to research to see if I could find one and I couldn't find anything on Facebook. I Google searched uh, the company that made it, couldn't find even a website, nothing from the past, no old eBay auctions. Nothing. I tried to find one secondhand through other collectors and just couldn't. I had never seen another copy and I was really worried that I would never be able to figure it out. So a couple days of me searching had gone by. I was reaching out to other collectors and veterans in the hobby and uh, nothing was turning up and I decided to do one last search. I tried to search a hashtag on Facebook of Night Stalker Productions and I ended up finding a post that had them hashtagged and tagged in it but the post was made back in 2012. So I went to the Night Stalker Productions Facebook page through that post, and the last time that they had posted on that page was 2013. So I was really starting to get worried. I didn't know if the makers had died, if they had just stopped making masks, I didn't know if they would still make me one, I didn't know if I could even reach out to them and get a response, because that was six years ago. So I was really starting to worry. But I sent him a message anyways. I asked if he still made masks, and a few days had gone by and I hadn't gotten a response, so I figured that was it. And then randomly I got a message back that said, yes, I do. So I said, please tell me that you still make the grandpa masks. And he said, yep. So I requested to have one made. Uh, he started doing it up for me. And about the time that he got the paint done, I sent him the big message in the video as to why I was acquiring about this piece. And then another little cool piece of information came through that the one that I gave Buckethead is the only copy out there that ever had painted blood on the mouth. So I just thought that was a neat little tidbit. And now I have the uh, only other replica that I know of out there. And I'm sure that a lot of Buckethead people are going to be hitting him up because I am going to add his information down below. And if you guys would like to pick up one of these grandpa masks, I guess we can call it a Herbie now because he did technically use it during Giles with his actual Herbie. I don't know. But it is definitely a cool piece for me to add to my collection seeing as how it was used and when it was used and why it was used. I just am very, very happy with that whole experience. So I'm definitely excited to open this up and take a look at the finished product. All right, so here we have it. Tagged and bagged looks fucking identical to the one that I had. That is insane. Wow, super stoked. It's almost like I'm holding the actual one. I know that I'm not, but it's uh, very, very cool and I'm very excited to have it. And wow, that life-size buckethead display that I'm building is going to be next level because of shit like this. So I'm just glad that it all worked out. So the dude that made this, his name is Bill Miller. Um, he has been super, super nice and kept me very up to date throughout the entire transaction. The price was incredibly affordable. I actually couldn't believe that that's how much he wanted because it was so cheap and uh, I'm just super stoked like all that happened to work out. I had the only one that I knew of. Apparently it was the only one that had blood on the mouth ever. I gave it to Buckethead. Buckethead loved it, used it during a show. Then I realized that I didn't have that anymore and I was gonna have a hard time finding it and I reached out to a page that hadn't been active since 2013 and I ended up getting one and here we have an identical copy in my collection. It's even tagged, so I'm super fucking stoked. And this dude does make other stuff, so like I said, I'm gonna add his information down below. I would highly suggest going and checking him out because like I said, he's been top notch throughout this entire thing and he and his wife seem super fucking stoked that Buckethead used one of their props on stage. So yeah, one more piece to the life-size Buckethead build. Oh, another thing I wanted to add is that he told me that this mask was originally made in 2008. So my mask was super fucking old. Uh. Not only did I receive it around 2013, but it had probably been around since 2008 or 2009, which is wild because that thing was in perfect condition. But yeah, I guess that is going to just about do it for this unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and show this guy off, give you guys nice up-close gory details, and that'll be today's video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, we will see you later.
And before we go, I'd like to give a nice little group shout out to a couple patrons of mine. People like Trenton M, Clancy James, Michael Fitzmaurice, Chad Zalowski, God, I hope that's how you say that one. Tyler Bacon, Preston Parr, Nightshade, and Tyler Rizzuto. Thank you guys all very, very much for your patronage. It is much appreciated. The channel would not be the same without you guys, so thank you very much. And if you guys would like to join the Cool Kids Club with those fellas and ladies, make sure to hop on Patreon and check us out. I will add the information down below.